Hey guys, it's April, and I thought I'd come on and chat for a few minutes. I do have to go get the house cleaned up. It's about 3 o'clock on Monday. I think it's March uh, 29th or something like that. But um, I'm pretty tired today. Last night, we had really high winds, and I was outside yesterday doing some garden work, and then a friend called and said she'd rented a rototiller and asked if I wanted to use it, and I did, and so my arms hurt so bad. This was such a powerful rototiller, and I was um, tilling our hill, our slopey area. Oh my gosh, it was so painful that when I returned the rototiller to her, my husband had to lift it into the car because I could not, I couldn't move. I could barely drive over to her house. She's only about 10 houses down. But um, I'm glad I got that done. So my arms hurt. I'm just really tired. I went out and I did put everything away so that it wouldn't blow, blow away in the wind. Um, but it was so windy. It kept waking us up. My husband woke up around 1 or 2 and the wreath on our front door kept banging. So he had to take that off and I found it on the floor <laughs> near the entry. But... Um, you know, I hope tonight is a better night. We can sleep better. Uh, we didn't sustain uh, damage, at least not that I can see, uh, not much damage, I should say. When I went to put some mulch in the backyard, I noticed that um, we have a double gate and a piece broke off of the one end of the gate and it uh, was screwed into it and we're going to have to replace a couple of pickets to get that gate fixed but minimal damage. A friend of mine down the street, <laughs> they um, had to replace three uh, fence posts and their uh, tent. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a canvas covered tent uh, that you use instead of a shed. That was completely blown over and I they have to replace that. But anyway, so all things considered, there was no tree damage, uh, my plants are all safe, everything is good, but I, I'm tired. I couldn't fall asleep until, I think it was 12.30 last night that I finally started to fall asleep, and then the wind kept waking me up, so um, I, I just probably should have taken it easy today, but... I did want to go and get the rest of the mulch. Like I said, I spent a lot of time yesterday in the, my side garden. I did film that, so that video will be coming out hopefully soon. And I was going to take the cardboard out and just put mulch down, but I chose to put uh, mulch over the cardboard. So I need to go finish. I ran out of mulch, so I bought five more bags this morning. I've been to the garden center. I had to run by the dentist. I had... Um, my upper left molar pulled and I've been having some pain and so he had to check that out and then um, I just have to go see him again in about 10 days so just to make sure everything's cleared up it is, does look like it's healing nice and um, he just wants to make sure it's all good so I've done that I went to Walmart <laughs> and I now I have to finish cleaning and doing laundry but um, I, I'm too tired to work outside today and it's so windy and cold. We went from 73 degrees to about, I don't know, 40, high 40s today. Maybe right around 50, but I don't think we're going to hit 50. So a huge temperature drop. So what I'm going to do instead, as long as I have some energy, after I clean, I'm going to repot on my tomato seedlings. So I need to work on that, and I'll take you guys along while I do that. And then... I have some other things I can do inside. I have to start some seeds. I have to start my herbs, and I'm really excited about that. And then I'm just going to do some fun gardening stuff. I would love, love, love a greenhouse. That would be amazing. But for now, I have indoors, and I can grow this stuff. And I probably need to buy a couple of more uh, grow lights. So I think I need to get on the ball and figure that out, but it really is just one thing at a time. I do have to create some more space with more pepper plants, so I have sold uh, quite a few pepper plants, and then I separated uh, some Basque peppers, some Big Jim, and Anaheim, and colored bell peppers, I believe, 
and maybe something else. And so I have a huge, like two trays and I need to get rid of some of those. So I'll have to get those listed too. Hopefully today I can do that. And then maybe by tomorrow, my arms will be feeling better. So the other thing I did this morning was I worked out for the first time in several weeks. Honestly, you know, um, I have gained in the last two years, 30 pounds. And that's because I had a hysterectomy and I, you know, everything went, the doctor had to take everything. And so I went into surgical menopause and I finally found a primary care doctor. And she explained to me just recently that, you know, your body goes under a lot of stress. And so it's very common for this to happen where you gain a lot of weight, then you should plateau and then hopefully start losing it. But thanks to cortisol and other things like that, you can lose, uh, you can gain weight easy. And I had been working out been for three months and instead of losing weight, I gained five pounds. And then I kind of just got a little bit depressed. And so I guess that's a story for another day. I don't know why I'm sharing all of that, but um, I finally yesterday after talking to a friend, actually the friend that lent us the rototiller, I thought, you know, I need to get exercising again. So I did 20 minutes workout with Leslie Sansone. It was really awesome. And I do feel really good, except my arms. <laughs> I should have not used my arms. Her workouts are a walk at home program. And it's not just walking, it's a multi-muscle workout. And so you do use every muscle in your body. And I probably should have laid off on the arms because now I'm pretty sore, <laughs> especially after what I did yesterday. In fact, my arms were so sore. I can't remember if I already mentioned this, but they burned for the first hour after, like burned. I was sitting in her grass looking at her garden and I, all I could think about was the pain <laughs> it was that bad but anyway that hill is done and um trying to figure out how I want to landscape it we we're thinking of putting grass in there I think I might do a big patch of grass and then maybe do some um I don't know maybe put a flower bed on the one side. I'm not sure because the other thing is I need things that are going to grow on their own <laughs> with little attention from me because the vegetable garden is where it's at. But eventually I hope to save up the money for a drip irrigation system and that would be really awesome to have. So that's that. Um, both kids go back to school tomorrow full time. Um, with the exception of Mondays, Mondays will still be early release and my son will still uh, have remote Mondays, but he's going back four days a week starting tomorrow. That means I have to be up and I'm going to start setting an alarm um, so that I'm up. He has to leave here about 730 to make the bus. And so for anyone that's an early bird, you're probably looking at me like, you aren't up. Well, no, especially if I don't sleep well the night before. Um, that's an issue. And I do deal with, um, I was getting some night sweats um, a couple of weeks ago, but we realized it was because we had too many blankets on the bed. It's starting to warm up. So I don't know what I can blame on menopause and what I can just blame on general life. But anyway, I'll just say that. Um, I'm excited to get into garden season, to get past these next couple of days that are a little bit chilly, and we're going to get back into the, hot, uh, I think, 60s and 70 for several days, and then I think next week we will cool back down to right around 60, but I'm excited to get into the garden to get um, productive outside and hopefully lose a little bit of weight along the way, and... I, I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but at 42, I weigh more than I ever have in my life. And um, even when I was pregnant with my daughter, I didn't weigh this much. So it is so easy to get discouraged, but the only thing you can do is to keep on going. So anyway, guys, I have rambled on so long. I... I'm not sure if I'm going to post this as a standalone chat or if I'm going to add some other uh, things to this, but if I don't post anything else and I do post this alone, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.